of the former Ferguson, Missouri police officer who shot and killed Michael Brown says he's not haunted by his actions and was just doing his job that day. But Brown's family says Darren Wilson's comments in the latest issue of the New Yorker magazine are racist. CBS 4's Rudabay Shabazi has more. Darren Wilson speaking out almost a year after shooting and killing unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown. A new photo of the former Ferguson police officer accompanying a more than 20-page in-depth interview by New Yorker magazine. The reporter, who spent several days with him in March, says the now 29-year-old lives in an undisclosed new home. Very few know where. We just want to have a normal life. Far from Wilson's wish, which he proclaimed in an interview with ABC News nine months ago, he now says he'll only go places where there are, quote, like-minded individuals, and it's not a mixing pot. And about the death that sparked national outrage, Wilson says he doesn't think of Michael Brown as a person because, quote, it doesn't matter at this point. When asked if he thought Brown was truly a bad guy, Wilson said, quote, I only knew him for those 45 seconds in which he was trying to kill me, so I don't know. Brown's family members say they're not surprised. There are so many inconsistencies and hypocrisy throughout the article itself. It just perpetuates the view of Darren Wilson as being self-serving. Wilson admittedly has not read the Justice Department's report on the systematic racism in Ferguson. The former cop says he's, quote, not going to keep living in the past. Wilson says if you live in a high crime area with a lot of poverty, there's going to be a large police presence. He claims it's not a race issue. Wilson goes on to say that in Ferguson, there's a lack of initiative to get a job, that youth are running in the streets, and that now he's not worried about going to work in the morning. The former officer claims that culture is, quote, everywhere in the inner cities. Darren Wilson is uh, no racist. I know him well. I think the article misrepresents who he is. Wilson says he hasn't been able to land a new police job and that he's haunted by the death threats he's received. Rudabay Shabazi, CBS 4 News.